Hi, this is Laura Hatton. I'm here at Balmer at the Manitowoc stand and I've been here with Michael Herbert who's the Director, Product Planning and Marketing Manager for Manitowoc in North America. And today we've been talking about two of the new RTs that are here on the stand and I started by asking him a few of the features the machines have to offer. We're building our RT550 in the Niela, Italy factory and it's uh, uh, got a 39 meter twin lock boom, five section that's uh, based on our proven GMK style boom technology. Uh, it's the uh, uh, first of that in that class size RT with that type of boom. Um, it, it also has a, an 8 meter uh, boom extension. Uh, both these cranes have uh, come in 6.7 liter QSB engines. What applications are the two new cranes going to be used for? The, uh, the, the RT550 will be uh, a good machine for the, uh, the the EMI market, uh, and we s see a lot of uh, a lot, lot of opportunity with uh, rental customers as well as uh, some const uh, general construction with that that machine. The the RT seven seventy will uh, really be a global crane for us, and uh, I see a lot of opportunity with uh, markets in uh, in North America, it, it, both on the rental side as well as uh, general construction. Um, and in some, some mining applications as well. Have customer demands helped with the development of the cranes? As part of uh, Manitowoc's new product development process, uh, we reach out to uh, a number of customers to, to develop a, a, what we call voice of the customer and, and try to understand what their problems are, with uh, what, what type of uh, problems they're having in, in the field, uh, what uh, types of cranes they need. Um, maybe certain features that weren't offered on previous models that uh, uh, they need to see on the new, new uh, model cranes. Uh, so we, we did that with both of these products and that's kind of how we got to the, the specification. Um, one of the, uh, I guess, key features about the these 770 is it's, uh, it was based on our RT700 model that's been, been in production for about, uh, about 11 years now. Uh, and has been very well accepted by our, our customers. Um, so we made some, some key improvements on some reliability aspects as well as the improvement to the load chart and, and the boom system. But for the most part, we kept a lot of the key elements from that, from that uh, legacy model. And then the 550 is, is based on the uh, uh, RT530 E-2 and RT540, which has been a model that we've been offering uh, for about the last uh, two years and um, uh, really with just a new boom. And uh, we also, as part of the new, uh, new crane, uh, have, have developed a new crane control system. That is, is now offered in the RT550 as well as the GMK3060. Uh, that's a, a, a good system that we've developed ourselves and we expect to put on all the cranes going forward. So it'll be, um, give us the same type of user experience in all the Grove RTs and uh, even the Manitowoc crawlers and some of the boom, national crane boom trucks. How have you addressed the reliability of the main components of the cranes? So as I mentioned earlier, this, this crane is based on the RT700E, which is, has been in the field for, for a number of years. And we have a, a good history on and, and a good uh, base of knowledge what components were most reliable on that product. So what we did was we took uh, the, the, the uh, components that weren't reliable and we ran them through some testing and looked for uh, some maybe different suppliers or different parts. And we put them through rigorous testing in our new product verification center. That's a new facility that we have in uh, Shady Grove, Pennsylvania. Um, and that's really, uh, it's allowing us to validate reliability at the component level. One of the other uh, pieces of this crane that went through rigorous testing, as I mentioned, it, it does have a, a new boom. We ran that boom through a, a, a series of 26,000 cycles, um, and really that's intended to, um, to simulate 10 years of, of aggressive use. Um, and we, we found a number of issues that we addressed through that process. So you know, the value there is we, we addressed those issues in the factory on the prototype before the crane got shipped to customers. How have you addressed the issues around operator comfort? Well, as part of the uh, this 
new, new product uh, development project. We also uh, fitted this machine with the new cab. Uh, this is the, the same cab that we are, have begun to use now in all the RT product. Uh, it's, it was put on the RT 765 E-2 and uh, uh, the, the cab is much more modern and roomy inside than our previous cabs. Uh, has a, a new seat, new uh, controls, a steering column, a tiltable steering column to allow the uh, the operator better ergonomics, and um, just the way the the LMI displays and some of the controls are mounted, it's uh, it's much more ergon ergonomic and, and user friendly in that, those respects. Well, thank you for talking to us today, Michael. Thank you, Laura. Thank you.